Hi, Rick Boysell with CTR Motors here, and I'm with a very special guest, Gary Matters from The Good Guys. The Good Guys. What else can we say about The Good Guys other than this weekend is the 26th Six. annual Nash West Coast Nationals here at the Pleasant and Fairgrounds. And Gary, can you just tell me a little bit about how it all started? Just, you know, briefly tell me how it all started, because I know it's been a long time, but... Yeah, well, it started actually way back in the early 70s. I did an event in Lodi, California. Lodi, lost in Lodi. Lost yeah. in Lodi, uh, you know, stuck in Lodi again. Stuck in Lodi Cre again, yeah. Creedence Clearwater, so. Yeah. Anyway, we did a, a big event. I was with the local club out of Fremont, of all places, and uh, we had 566 hot rods show up from like seven states. It was the biggest thing that had been pulled off to that time in the West Coast. and. Uh, so I says, you know what, I think I'd like to do this. I mean, I was a traveling sales guy, you know, for a health and beauty aids company. And I thought, man, I, I kind of like this. And then sure as heck, it kind of developed as things went along. And uh, the next thing you know, uh, we started Good Guys uh, down here at the Pleasanton Fairgrounds. And uh, then we branched out and we did a few things up northwest and in the mid part of the country. And then pretty soon it's going and going and going. And, and then it blossoms into where we're doing 20, 20 something events every year for all these years. So like I was just telling you, the, the tail end of this year, we'll have done 593 Good Guys events. It's crazy. Well, I mean, it's it's crazy, but it's as almost as uh, you see the Good Guys logo and it's like seeing a, a prominent company that's out there. You just know what it is right when you see it. I mean, the branding and how you guys brand your, your business and the shows and how everybody knows it, I mean, that obviously didn't happen overnight, but you have some great staff there. How many staff do you have here in the, your corporate headquarters here in Pleasanton, right? Yeah, here uh, in Pleasanton office, we have uh, around 30 uh, that work like there are 60 of them. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. 30 guys and gals working like as if they're 60. And then uh, we have other people around the United States as well that are full-time staffers. So it's a pretty, pretty big operation, I'm telling you, but they get so much work done. And we've got so many people now that have been with us 20 plus years and that's one of the secrets I think is to have people that know what they're doing and they've done it enough to where they've become very very good at what they do and they just continue to do it and improve so it's uh, you know like I say well we're never going to get it totally right and I always also tell them if you're not about 60% out of control we're not giving you enough to do. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something Mario Andretti would have said. Um, it's it's well plus your staff has got Obviously, you have to have a passion for this. I mean, the cars are so beautiful. I got into this business for the same reason, for the passion of the cars. And I know just by being around it and being around the people that are involved that it's it just spurns enthusiasm, and it's something that uh, just carries on. So it's, it's not really work. Maybe that's why a lot of them are there for so long. Exactly. Exactly. It, you know, I... What is it Henry Ford said? You know, if you f do something that you really totally enjoy, you'll never work a day in your life. I'm one of those guys. I've never worked a day in my life. <laughs> well, that, that is great. I mean, the success story of the good guys is well documented. Uh, this weekend, of course, in Pleasanton, Pleasanton Fairgrounds, we have uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 24th, 25th, 26th. And after that show, what's next on Slate for the good guys? Well, then it's right back to Kansas City, Missouri, at the, or Kansas City, Kansas, actually, at the Kansas Speedway uh, for the next Good Guys event. And, uh, and then Indy in the middle of September, and we've got a huge conglomeration. It's uh, Andy Brizio's 80th birthday, and it's the 80th birthday of the 32 Ford, which has been Andy's thing forever. So we're heading for, there's 90 of us, 90 hot rods, mostly roadsters, going pre-1948 pre-1949, excuse me, going to Indy, and then uh, we do our good guys Indy thing and then come back around the south way, so a uh, heck of a, like it's a 16-day trip. So these guys are going to get uh, to see all kinds of car collections and uh, hot rod shops and just all sorts of great things going and coming. Well, that sounds great. I would like to see if somebody there could send us some updates, maybe uh, drop us an email so we can keep our our people that are following us updated on your travels there. I'll be kind of a like a little diary of uh, of travels, and uh, we'll be reporting it here from uh, from California while you're out there. Yeah. I know everybody will be driving safe and having a great time, but 
Uh, I'll have to f see if I can get away and maybe follow you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've got one of those blog things set up, so you can follow us on the map of the United States to where we are and what we're doing, and then they've got that blog thing on, the, and I'm not a computer guy much, but all that stuff, so and then we can, you know, get it to you and you can get it out. I mean, it'll, it'll be a, a doable deal. So the blog is on the Good Guys site? I think so. Okay. Thank you again. Rick Boysell with CTR Motors. Gary Metters with the Good Guys.